This video is brought to you by Vincero Watches. Hey brother! And welcome everyone to another J vs. Ben. Today we are taking on the Harry Potter movie binge quiz on Pottermore. Ooh, I feel like the Christmas holidays are coming up right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Nothing better than cuddling up with a nice blanket and watching all eight movies back to back to back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> is there any chance I got the correct number of back? I don't think there, there is. No, I think, yeah, so it was short. It was Pretty seven. close. Seven? Oh, well, you know, seven books, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Ben, if ever there was a quiz I felt like you were more don't prepared to beat me at. Don't say it. It was this one. You said it. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be the overdog. Everyone knows me as the underdog. So everyone should just be rooting for me because Ben's probably going to win. Oh, I hate this. Let's go! It's not even fun if you start it like that. Before we get started, we have to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Vincero Watches. We are narrowing in on the holidays, and if you're looking for that last minute gift for that hard to buy for person, I might have just the thing. Vincero makes a wide selection of gorgeous watches for both men and women. They're super high quality and totally affordable. Since discovering them personally, I have actually picked up two. This is my second one, and they have just become a staple of my daily outfits, and I get compliments on them all the time. As an added bonus, you can get 15% off your entire order by going to vincerowatches.com slash SCB holidays. Be sure to check it out. I promise you won't regret it. Again, it's vincerowatches.com slash SCB holidays. So before we even begin, I just would just like to share with the class my awesome drawing of Ben. It's, I mean, it's identical to me. Should I, should I shave everything but just the mustache and see if it looks exactly right? It are, it's already perfect. <laughs> it's already perfect. <laughs> that should just be our new piece of merch everywhere. You want this on a shirt, right? A magnet, a pin, everything. Here's how the quiz is going to work. Basically, Derek is going to ask us questions. We will write the answers down here without the multiple choice. But if we both agree that we don't know and would like to hear the multiple choice, then we can hear it. I don't know why, but for some reason with the movies, I feel less likely like, that we're going to have to call on it. I feel like it's more likely. I think you've watched them significantly more than me. I don't know. We'll see. We we'll will. See. If you yeah. want to play along with us, there is a link to this quiz in the description down below. How many questions do we have? Just 20 for this one. Just, Just 20? 20. Yeah. Oh man, short quiz. So they does, count for more. Does infinite, infin, infamous question number 17 now all of a sudden become infamous question number 12? I don't know. We actually got some cool data from a Super Carlin friend about comparing how we did on all the quizzes. We did! Yes! It made me feel so bad about myself. Oh no, bad. <laughs> it just makes your three wins so impressive. All three of them. <laughs> how many of these have we done? Soon to be four, probably. This is not cool. I need to be the underdog. It's the only thing I have going for me. <laughs> Wait now, just so I'm aware, are these questions like about the like storylines in the movies, or is it going to be like who played Xenophilius Lovegood in Harry Potter and oh Deathly Hallows? Um, I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, okay. No, there might be like a little, like a little smidgy smidge of that. Okay, well here we oh, go. Oh, this is going to be frustrating. So, so like a smidgy smidge. There, there's so many times in like our studies of this where I feel like I would have been much more well versed and mm -hmm. I do not feel brushed up at Well, the we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Question one. Who directed Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? Oh, I, I knew this one. Is this a trick question because it's actually I was just thinking that. The Sorcerer's that's, that's Stone? That's not the name of the movie. Sorry. <laughs> trick question. That movie doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> not available. Yeah. Three, two, one. Chris Columbus. It is Chris Columbus. Woo! Woo! Also directed Home Alone. Really? Yeah. Oh that God. movie is unexpectedly, like... It's very well done. It's airtight. Airtight. Like, when you go through and watch how he gets left home alone, it's like, this could happen. <laughs> like, that, that adds up. That adds up. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Hey, you stole, I think, my eraser. I thought you wanted smudges. My lucky smudges? Not today. If I'm the overdog, I don't get lucky smudges. Question two. What is the very first line of the film? What is the very first line of... The, uh, the whole series. Sorcerer's Stone? Yes. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me go back in my mind's eye. Like, I don't have the wording right, but I do think it's the right sentiment. Me too. I think that's sort of exactly... I think... Okay. Well, if, it, if it is the same sentiment and we just have some phrasing wrong, I think we go ahead and count We're it. We're going to count that? If, okay. if it's indeed what I think it is. 
Yeah, same okay. Z's. Same All Z's. Right. All right, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. So I thought I might see you here tonight, Professor McGonagall. Oh, you have the same thing. Yes, I have the same thing. Uh, it's essentially the same thing. I should have known that you would be here. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Yeah, I'm counting that. <clears throat> yep, yeah. for sure. Question three. In the following famous Snape line, where does actor Alan Rickman place a very long pause? The line is, people will think you're up to something. The quote is, people will think you're up to something? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. He puts a very long pause in there. All right. Three, two, one. Between your and up. I said between up and two. Ooh. I think, because I'm remembering, people will think you're up to something. Uh, the correct answer is... People will think you're... Up to something. Yay! Oh, man. Ridiculous. Boy, for being the favorite, Ben, you're not doing so hot in this quiz. Oh, yeah. Question four. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, what color is the sock that Dobby gets at the end? Three, I got it. Two, one. Black. Black. The correct answer is gray. That is just no. Really? Mothballs. It is gray. Well, we both thought it so vehemently. Yeah, you're both like, yeah, Vehemently. Yeah. yeah. This quiz. It's on screen right now. It's on so screen. They, they see it. They know whether or not yeah, we were right, right or this quiz was right. It's like wet. Maybe the wetness makes it look black, but yeah. actually it's gray. Question five. In the Chamber of Secrets book, Mrs. Weasley magically fixes Harry's broken glasses. Who repairs them in Diagon Alley in the film? Three, two, one. Hermione! Hermione. Hermione Granger. Oculus Reparo. Question six. What is Gilderoy Lockhart doing in the large portrait of himself in Chamber of Secrets? <laughs> this is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> I agree. And I know that you'll both get this. Can you all hear me? Can you all see me? <laughs> see you all complete. I can't even think of it. Yeah, see you all complete copy of my books. Well done. Well done. Three, two, uh, one. Painting a picture of himself. He's painting a picture of himself. <laughs> oh, in the it's wonderful. Of himself. Quality. <laughs> Quality. It's just the best. Question seven. What is the spell Harry is attempting under the bedclothes in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban's opening scene? Three, two, one. Lumos Maxima. Lumos the correct Maxima. answer is Lumos Maxima. Okay. Problem with this scene <laughs> in particular, number one, pretty sure the Dursleys take away all of this stuff every year. Number two, at the beginning of Chamber of Secrets, he gets in trouble for not even him doing magic at the house. One year later, he's like, forget that, I'm doing it. Doesn't he also get in trouble in Prisoner for doing magic outside of school when he blows up yeah. Aunt yeah. Marge? Yeah, 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 I don't know. It, it literally opens on him doing magic. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's, huh. Anyway. Also, Lumos Maxim is not the spell. Also, it's just Lumos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which you can support. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Lumos, if Check you're not following us on the give there's a link where you can support our Give to Lumos charity page on GoFundMe. We're trying to reach $10,000. Help us get there. Question eight. In Prisoner of Azkaban, which lead singer of which rock band has a cameo in the Leaky Cauldron as a wizard magically stirring his tea? Ah, uh, what lead singer? Okay, the name of the lead singer. The name of the lead singer. Of, uh, I don't know. Uh, dude, I have no idea Which lead either. singer of which rock band? I know he's reading like a muggle book about like the theory of relativity or something. And he's like stirring his... There, there's like a meme Soon. that has gone on about this particular guy where he's like, look at him using wandless magic. This guy's like the real hero yeah. of the series or something. Yeah. I don't know. I would go multiple choice. Yeah, just because uh, just to help guess, I, yeah. I guess. All right, what do we got? The answers are Ian Brown of the Stone Roses, Sean Ryder of the Happy Mondays, Jarvis Cocker of Pulp, Bobby Gillespie of Primal Scream. Oh my God, I've never heard of a single one of any of those things. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I need a way to guess. Hmm. I have a guess. You have a guess? I mean, not based on anything other than just... I circled one of the options. <laughs> okay. I, too, have a guess. All right. And I know for sure that it's B. I also said B. Hey! Well, it is not. Oh. <laughs> well. It is Ian Brown of the Stone Roses. Sure, That's sure. Stone Roses. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that one. I know, right? Question nine. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, what does Cedric Diggory do the first time we see him in the film? I really need to get a point back. 
I By the way, have you guys that. noticed our fancy new counters that we have up here? Yeah, they're actually those. down there. Oh, sorry, down there. <laughs> <laughs> they're not actually physically in the room with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have a guess. I do too. Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Gracefully land from the port key. I said jump out of a tree. Oh. The correct answer is jump out of a tree. Ah, oh, man. Yes! I was like, I have yes! no recollection of that at all. I was just like, I know this isn't the first thing he does, but it's a thing he almost does. the <laughs> first thing he does. There are so many things wrong with Goblet, but the way that they all travel by port key with this weird Mary Poppins, like, dancing through the air yeah. landing sequence, it's like... You can almost see the wires. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Good point. I need... So you guys don't see the, the answers for this, and I need you to know that one of the answers is sparkle in the sunlight. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's a Twilight joke. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. That is really funny. Good on you, Pottermore quiz writer. Question 10. Barty Crouch Jr., played by David Tennant, is notable for what facial tick? You got it. I'm just trying to decide if I feel like this is an <laughs> adequate way to describe this phenomenon, but... Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. The sticky is tongue out. I it, said tongue jut now. Yeah. Uh, it, is, it is the patented tongue jut. The tongue, tongue <laughs> jut. Tongue jut. <laughs> like a snake. I don't think my tongue is long enough to actually do this. I, this is the like, weirdest. Yeah, I like, don't know who decided this thing. But. It's, yeah. such, it's, it's because... They want to give you, the viewer, a way to like tell what's happening while he's transformed as moody. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I just feel yeah. like it could have been like maybe like a smidgey smidge more subtle. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Pretty, <laughs> pretty obvious. obvious in the movie. <laughs> what's going on? Oh man, but that's that's not a character trait in the books at all. No, yeah, it's a weird yeah. one. Yeah. Question eleven: In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. What color is Tonks' hair when we first see her in the film? All right, I'll start. All right. Three, two, one. Purple. Purple! The correct answer is purple. Yay! Oh, man. I believe it's pronounced plurple. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> this is, like, her hair color, it seems like it would have been one of those super easy things to just be like, like in the book, it's like bubblegum pink. Right. It would have been so easy to make her hair just bright pink. And then yeah. it's like, brown with purple highlights. How about that? Is yeah. that good enough? Yeah. Like, no, it's, no not, it's, it's not, not good enough. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyway. This is why someone on the film set needs to hire us mm. to come in mm -hmm. and be like the... Like, like, yeah, they correct the... Like, do you think these small details matter? Is it okay if we do like this? Some things you might be like, yeah, sure, that's okay. Hair color? Nope, this was important. Yes. They made it look like she dyed it with Kool-Aid. Yeah, right, yeah, it's not, right. it's not a good effect. Mm. 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 Anyway. Question 12. The fifth film introduced us to Bellatrix Lestrange, but who plays her? Three, two, one. Marla from Fight Club. Oh my gosh. Yeah. At first I was like, <laughs> oh my god, did I completely hit this wrong? No. Helena Bonham Carter. Helena Bonham Carter. Uh, the correct answer is actually Helena Bonham Carter. Yes. <laughs> who also plays Marla in Fight Club. Yes. It's true. <laughs> Is that a Seamus joke? That was a Seamus joke. Ah, uh, yes, yes, because Seamus met her and was like, guys, look who I met. It's Marla from Fight Club. Exactly. Question 13. Which London bridge is destroyed at the beginning of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? Yeah. You know why we know this? Because we've, we've been, been there. there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I, I hope I right. know. That would have been so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Three, two, one. The Millennium, Millennium Bridge. Bridge. Millennium Bridge Woo! is correct. I would, had we not been there, I would have no idea at all. That is actually one that I didn't know. Also, if you'd like to see us there and like slide on it, you can check out our blog. Bing! Question 14. What relation is Hero Fines Tiffin, who plays the 11 year old Tom Riddle, to Ralph Fines, who plays Voldemort? Interesting. Didn't my, know this was a thing. My mind was just blown a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Which version of Tom Riddle? It's gotta be like the, the one 11 from year old's the gotta be the yeah. orphanage one. Right. The not as good one. The not I like a, to think of them as. Well, the eleven year old was fine. The sure. real issue was the slug horn. Right, the slug horn one is the problem. Right. That yeah. that kid, no offense to him, I'm sure he's a great guy. Yeah. But he didn't look like the type of high school persona that has like all the upperclassmen following his Right. He didn't look like jaunt. like Chamber of Secrets Tom Riddle. Yeah. That kid looked like he could control an army. Yeah, he had a jawline. He had a jawline. As like a fifteen year old. Yeah. <sighs> Impressive. So yeah. anyway, how are these two chaps related? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Grandson. I said nephew slash uncle. The correct answer is nephew. Oh, yes. oh no. Yes. Ben's pulled ahead. This is bad news. 
Ralph, Ralph Fiennes, Fiennes, Ralph Fiennes. Fiennes? I looked it up before I read this question. <laughs> <laughs> Fiennes is, okay. He All is, right. he is not as old as Voldemort. No. Obviously. Obviously. No, I, I think not even half. Yeah. yeah. Well, ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. When they remake these movies, I want a 70 year old man. Question 15. This is a select all that apply. Which of the following does Slughorn mistakenly call Ron Weasley during the course of the film? Oh, boy, Willoughby, Westerly, Wenby, Wallenby, Wellsby. Oh my gosh, this is a, this is a hilarious question, first of all. Oh gosh, I just, I don't really know. No, all is, right. Okay, we'll see. You have answers? Yep. Three, two, one. I said B, D, and E. I said A, D, and E. Dang it. You know what, this always, this always means the same thing. The correct answer is C, oh. Wenby, no. and D, Wallenby. Man, I, I wrote these down and I was like, I, the only one I feel pretty certain about is it's not C. I <laughs> <laughs> no, me too. I, I was like, for Wendy, sure not that Not one. even close. Question 16. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, what Nick Cave song do Harry and Hermione dance to in the tent? Oh, no. These are, what? These are, oh. Who knows this? Nick Cave song. Is he the lead singer of Stone Roses? <laughs> Stone Roses. <laughs> Make it a comeback. Make it a comeback. It's an Easter egg of an Easter egg. Yeah, that's right. We used his song later on. Gosh. I don't know. What's the multiple choice? Let's see. Lay it do upon care? us. Do you care? The I, no, I do not. Okay, I yeah. prefer it. Yeah. The multiple choice is We Know Who You Are, Jubilee Street, Into My Arms, O oh Children. I'm trying to deduce, based on the names of these songs, what they would be about and how it could possibly be about like a plutonic, let's just take a break from the madness moment. Yeah, right. Like, That's all you can really go for. Because it's not meant to be romantic. It's really not meant to be at all. This is one of the weirdest scenes in the whole series. I think that they're doing it for those people who haven't read the books and they're trying to drum up the idea that maybe Harry and Hermione are still a thing. Right, yeah. That's exactly what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, three, two, one. C. C. said Jubilee! The Into My Arms sounded too romantic to me. The correct answer is O oh, Children. Oh! Well, as long as you're wrong, I don't care. As long as you're wrong, this is we're fine. As long as you're wrong, I'm right. <laughs> uh, oh boy, here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, children. Oh gosh, dreaded question number 17. Here we go. Known to cause havoc. Oh boy. Question 17. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, who narrates the tale of the three brothers? Three, two, one. Hermione. Hermione. I mean... Emma Watson, but Hermione, yes. What? They, they put they, Emma they Watson? Put, they, put, they, put, they put the actors' names. Oh my gosh, no. no. Okay, just but saying. everyone, I'm not. No, I'm, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm not not accepting that answer. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, my gosh. <laughs> she really wasn't in character at that time. It's a uh, right. separate <laughs> short story inserted into the movie. Right. We also happen to ask Emma, whatever. Question 18. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, what color dress is Albus and Aberforth Dumbledore's sister Ariana wearing in her portrait? Three, two, one. Blue! It is blue. Uh, blue! Boy. I'm, only, I'm running out of questions to catch up on you here, Ben. This I'll come is, down to these final two. If I know me like I know me, I trip at the finish line more than anyone you've ever met. <laughs> we shall see. Question 19. Who does Neville say he's mad for at the height of the Battle of Hogwarts? This, I felt like, should have been. Like, you think this is something that movie got right? I, I ship this. Oh, you ship this? I ship this. Yeah. Three, two, one. Luna! The correct answer is Luna Lovegood. Yeah, I do too. Unless our theory about Luna being a wolf is correct. Alright, so 20. Question 20. Oh boy! So I can at best tie now. What is the final line of the final film? Oh! I see what they did. It opens at the close. Uh, sort of. You know what I It mean. closes at the close. It's like the same question. Yeah. Not really. The same question as the first question? No, because the first question was the Chris Columbus question. Oh, yeah. you're right. They could have done a cool thing here. They could have. They didn't do it. Narrow, okay. narrow miss. <clears throat> now, oh gosh. Let's see. This is like, I would like to verbalize my thought process to myself. Mm -hmm. 
But I can't do that because you're here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I can't have I you mean, stealing my thoughts. Ben doesn't need to get this question right. He just needs you to not. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. But I need to get it wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See? And I have to get it right. Yeah. Just a tie. Correct. So. There are still some stakes. This has been well sorted. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You are down by one. Those are the possible <laughs> outcomes. <laughs> outcomes. Is there another ever been to lose a point? For those of you at home. <laughs> Okay, all right. Okay. Think, 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 think. Okay, okay. It's like I can't, I can't figure out like where the dialogue cuts off. I know, I know. I'm like, uh, I'm, I feel like there's like a few possibilities floating through my brain. Ah. Uh, and then I'm like also interjecting book text. You know? Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Well, like I know what the end of the book text is, and, and if my memory serves, it's not the same. No, I don't think so. Are you just saying that so I get it wrong? Well, the end of the book test text. It, well, yeah, I just okay. We just have to reveal because I'm not going to think of anything else here. <clears throat> like the last line of like the last thing in the book text isn't dialogue. Oh, that, yeah, right. All right. Ugh. I don't think this is right. <clears throat> Three, two, one. So say hello to Haggard for me. I said, Slytherin House will have gained a great wizard. See, I thought about that, but then I think they get on the train and they're like, we'll see you at Christmas! I feel like they say that, and then I think they add an afterthought, like, say hello to Hagrid for me. That's what. It, that's all I... But then I'm also like, I was afraid to even ask, like, do you mean the movie or, like, the epilogue? <laughs> Is either of us right? Ready? Oh my god, Derek. This is what I thought. Ready is yeah. the final line. Ready? Ready. No. <laughs> that was quite fitting. Ready? 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 Like player one? Like, wait, what is... I'm trying to think. I believe Harry is talking to Albus. Because he is, like, concerned about going. Sure. And he's like, ready? And I think Albus then just nods. Yeah. Or maybe he says ready. Yeah, back. ready. Ready. Hmm. That's dumb. That is dumb. But I won. <laughs> I this uh, well, but I get the golden egg. You get was that what was at stake here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't gonna tell you because if you had won, I didn't have to tell you. Oh, and I could have just, anyway. just kept it anyway. <laughs> but at least I get to keep this as a consolation prize. <laughs> exactly. I, uh, I had two potential outcomes. Both of them resulted in me having a new egg. Uh, I told you guys, if ever there was a quiz, Ben was going to win. <laughs> I'm up to four. Woo! Well, let us know how you did uh, on the quiz. Did you beat either of us? I'm not even sure what my final score is. I'm sure Derek has it correct wherever we're keeping Down score. here, maybe? On Down the there. screen. Right there. Down here. Also, uh, I hope you guys are all, like, spending your Christmas breaks just binging all just of the binging movies. binging all of them. Which is your favorite Harry Potter movie? Yeah. yeah. Dude, what's your favorite? Oh, and everyone says Azkaban. I don't know. I like the first just two because I feel like they really captured Hogwarts the best. It felt there. like the most. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. <clears throat> yeah. I also love Half Blood Prince. Yeah, that's not bad either. It's a good it's one. Harry does either. like the the pincers. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Harry and Felix Felicis, one of the best. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. It's a good it's one. Good. It's a good one. And guys, again, we have to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Vincero Watches. If you guys would like a discount on your very own watch, you can check it out in the link in the description down below. Guys, thanks as always for watching today's video. Please remember to leave a like on it if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future J vs. Ben's. If you'd like to see our whole playlist of J vs. Ben, you can click right here around the golden egg, and you can see the other three times Ben beat me in these quizzes. Hey. Yeah. Until next time. Bye! <laughs>